Hi everybody, Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with the new for mid-2012 Apple MacBook Air. This is our review of the 13-inch variant and it's based on Intel's third generation IV Bridge core processor technologies for the mobile space. And with it you get a small literature pack and of course Apple's MagSafe power adapter. Let's take a look around the machine and then show you how it runs. Now as we've mentioned before, the 13-inch MacBook Air that we tested came configured with a third generation Intel Ivy Bridge dual core mobile processor. And it's specifically the Intel Core i5-3427U that's under the hood here. Three meg of on-chip L3 cache with a base frequency of 1.8 gigahertz and a max turbo boost frequency of 2.8 gigahertz. Also on board the machine is four gig of DDR3 1600 megahertz system memory and a 128 gig solid state drive for the primary storage subsystem, which gives you very fast response times as well as uh, very quick boot times. The display is a 13.3 inch LED backlit display with a native resolution of 1440 by 900 pixels. Very nice display to be sure. Very good contrast, very deep uh, black and white contrast ratio here, as well as uh, rich and saturated colors. Good viewing angles and uh, good brightness all around. It is a glossy display, uh, so um, not, you know, without a little bit of glare if you get on certain angles, but a really nice display to be sure. Easily one of the nicest displays we've seen in any um, ultralight notebook or ultrabook for that matter on the market these days. The display is driven by integrated Intel HD 4000 graphics. Okay, there is no discrete graphics chip in this specific model. And a built-in FaceTime HD camera. And in terms of I.O. connectivity, you do get two USB 3 ports as well as an SD card slot, headphone jack, built-in stereo speakers, and uh, of course that Thunderbolt port. And uh, 802.11 and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 is on board. We'll go through the rest of the I.O. Uh, mechanically as we walk you around the new 13-inch MacBook Air in just a second here. But first, to give you a quick sense of size and weight, here we have backed up the 13-inch MacBook Air against the thinnest and lightest Ultrabook that we've seen to date on the market, and that is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. Uh, this is a very thin and light Ultrabook on the PC side against its Mac competitor here. And as you can see, the uh, 13-inch MacBook Air is quite a bit thinner than the X1 Carbon. Uh, 0.11 inches thick at its thinnest point here, 0.67 inches thick at its thickest point here in the rear, versus the Carbon at uh, 0.71 and 0.31 up here at its thinnest point. So quite a bit thinner. Also, the Carbon has a little bit uh, taller rubberized standoffs underneath the notebook itself, and so it does maintain a higher profile in general. Still, a very thin Ultrabook, but a thinner MacBook Air. Uh, also, in terms of weight, the X1 Carbon uh, just barely sneaks in at 2.99 pounds. The MacBook Air just a little bit lighter at 2.96 pounds. So, you know, again, very thin and light machine to be sure, and uh, rivaling the thinnest and lightest Ultrabooks on the market today. Now, in terms of feel in the hand, the MacBook Air 13 inch is built with a solid aluminum unibody construction, classic Apple build here with a nice brushed aluminum finish, really well built machine, very solid, very rigid in the hand, but light, surprisingly light for how solid it feels in your hand. Very well built machine all around. Uh, from a mechanical standpoint. Over here on the right edge is an SD card slot, a USB 3 port, and your Thunderbolt port. Backside is a solid black hinge area. And on the left side is your MagSafe power adapter, USB 3 port, headphone jack, and a microphone port. Rolling around to the front, there is this ever so slight little indentation in the chassis that allows you to get your finger in there and open the machine up. Very well built machine, very solid, very rigid, and uh, surprisingly uh, up for taking some abuse. You would, uh, you would think with a thin and light machine like this, it might feel flimsy, but not at all. This, this MacBook Air is uh, built to last, to be sure. And of course, the keyboard area of the 13-inch MacBook Air, also a very well built uh, part of the construction here. You've got that all aluminum backing around the keycaps. The keycaps themselves have a soft, flat finish to them, no texture really whatsoever. Spacious keycaps, spacious keyboard. Wish we had a little bit more travel in here 
a uh, little bit more tactile response to the keys would be nice, um, but not bad. A comfortable typing experience for sure on the 13-inch MacBook Air. The touchpad area also very large, very generous, all glass, and very responsive to multi-gesture inputs. As you can see here, I'm pinching and zooming in the browser in the Safari, and as you can see, very responsive, instantaneous to my input, and uh, probably one of the best trackpad implementations we've ever tested on any notebook, whether it be PC or Mac. Um, about the closest we've seen lately in the Ultrabook space to come to this sort of responsiveness as the uh, MacBook Air here has would be uh, Asus's ZenBook line of uh, Ultrabooks. But even so, uh, still not quite as responsive as you see here in the MacBook Air. Very, very impressive and indicative of the MacBook experience in general in terms of that touchpad implementation. And from a performance standpoint, let's first take a look at boot times. We'll go ahead and hit the power button here. And we're gonna boot this MacBook Air from its 128 gig SSD, that's solid state drive. You can configure your MacBook Air with up to a 256 gig SSD as well. As you can see, we are already on the desktop. So very fast boot time here for this uh, model of the MacBook Air, about 13 to 14 seconds to get to the desktop. Impressive, actually. Finally, here we are running Cinebench 11.5, and this is going to be the graphics portion of the benchmark suite. The CPU side of the benchmark scored 2.59 points for the 13-inch MacBook Air, which is about on par with the average Core i5-3427U processor that we've seen configured in the average Windows Ultrabook. However, on the graphics side, in this test that you see running here, we're going to score just shy of 19 points, or 18.84 to be exact, which is quite a bit faster than the average Windows Ultrabook, running again the same identical processor with integrated Intel HD 4000 graphics. So whatever Apple's been able to do with Mac OS X Mountain Lion and their graphics driver implementation, they've been able to squeeze a little bit more performance out of the 13-inch MacBook Air. So kudos to Apple for that and kudos as well to Apple for producing a machine that remains relatively quiet under pressure. At no time did the cooling fans in the MacBook Air spin up to an annoying level. So we appreciate that uh, very much. This machine as configured, the 13-inch MacBook Air is delivered to us with a 128 gig SSD, retails for $1199. Uh, Apple does also offer a 256 gig SSD based variant, so you want to stop by their site to check out pricing options, but also make sure you stop by our site, hotharbor.com, for the full review with all the benchmark details and analysis. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.